Got my little workstation hooked up. Got a T2500.1 BD. Got a punch 200 on the mids and highs. Got an excess power battery, just a little one. Running off this Pioneer Deck DC Audio Level 210, signed by Rusty. And uh, here's my test bench. So today what I think I'm gonna show you is um, a little bit of how to set your gains and a little bit of new product. And this new product we have over here is something that me and my good buddy Tony and my good buddy Juan have been working on for a little while. And it's a little product that's gonna help you set your gains properly on your apps. So normally to set your gains properly, you would need something like this right here. Uh, a handheld O-scope or possibly even a uh, more expensive one like this one right over here. But what this new device does, it allows you to see distortion and clipping without having to use an O-scope. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how that works right now. Now most people think you can just turn your amplifier gain up uh, as far as you can and uh, you know the more you turn it up the more volume you get but that's really not the case I know it sounds like it but that's really not how it works so what I'm gonna show you is how to set your gains properly we're gonna go ahead and use this thing now, this is a prototype so it's a little rough got a nice little blue boot on this thing here's our first prototype and what we're gonna do is set the gains just like we would if we were using this oscilloscope right here. Or more. So anyways, first thing we want to do is we want to find out when this deck right here clips. Because this is your source unit. And to do that, we got some tracks here. Those will probably come with this whenever it's released. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is turn your amp gains all the way down and your frequencies all the way up on both your subwoofer amp and your mids and high amp. This is just for the gain setting purposes only. Alright, now once you've done that, take this right here, ground it to the amp ground. Take your positive lead and put it on the signal of the mids and high amplifier. Just like that. So anyways, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to test for clipping at the deck through the amplifier. But the gains are all the way down, so that allows you to go ahead and do that. So, we start out with track two. Turn this on. Now what we're looking for is when this deck starts clipping. As you can see we've got 1000 hertz. That's what we're playing. See how you're hitting? Alright, so we know that this thing clips at 61 out of 62 so we don't want to go past 60 so now we're going to do the same thing for the bass take your signal sense put it on your bass amp now this works with the speaker wire in the terminal or not so I would advise you to probably unhook the speaker wire and just test it that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to track one. Remember the gain and the frequency is the gains down, frequency is all the way up. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this up. Okay, it's reading a 40 hertz signal. And you can see it distorts at 59. So you have clipping at 59 
out of 62 on the Pioneer. So then you know right away that you do not want to go past 59. So choose the smaller of the two. So now we have a reference. We know that we don't want to go past 59 with the deck. All right, so watch how easy this is. You still got the wire on the amplifier, and you're going to go ahead and go over to track five, 40 hertz, and you're going to turn this up to 59 because we know that we can't go past 59. Actually, we go to 58. All right. And then you turn this on. It's already on. And you turn your gain up. Right there. So I see distortion at this point. Back it off just a little bit till the light goes off. Boom, your gains are set. Same thing for the mids and high amp. Positive on the signal sense, negative on the ground. You can leave the wires in or out, but if they're piercing your eardrums, you can go ahead and leave it out. I'll put one in. Now it's track six. Now we know we don't want to go past 59. So we're at 58. Now we'll turn this gain up. So you see the distortion light come on? Right there. Back it off a little bit and you're done. And once again, it works with or without the speaker in there. So I'll show you. Same thing. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn the volume up to 58 because we don't want to go to 59. And with or without it in there. You can still see it. And just back it off a little bit. That's a done deal. Now you know when you're playing your system, as long as you don't go to the original limit on the deck, which would be 59, you'll never clip your system. And you'll probably save a lot of money in speakers. So Whenever this thing's available, you need to look into it. Every toolbox needs one. What I'll do next is I'll go ahead and put this thing next to an O-scope and show you the actual signal being clipped versus the distortion meter. Very, very accurate. All right, so I'll take this right here, put the probes in the amp right next to the distortion tester. We know the deck clips at 59. Now we know that that amp won't even start clipping until the deck clips. So watch when these are all put together at the same time. We're going to turn this volume. See how you've got a nice clean curve right there? This thing is sensing 1,000 hertz. Let me turn it back on. There we go. All right, I'm going to turn this volume up to 58 because that is our safe zone. As you can see, we still have a nice curve, but watch what happens when I turn this up to volume 59. Red light comes on, distortion, and you're clipped. See the square? Turn it back down, the distortion light goes off. See that? Get these two right here at the same time. Watch when I go from 58 to 59. The telescope squares off exactly when the red light hits. Back off, back on. So for the fraction of the price of an telescope, you can set your gains properly and save yourself a lot of burned up speakers. Not only that, but you might have had your gain down too low and been cheating yourself out of a little bit of power. So when this thing comes out, be sure to pick yourself up one. Now with your gain set, you're ready to start bumping. So I'm over here editing up this video and I realized I'm over 10 minutes long on it. So 
And I just wanted to say, if you made it this far, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, hey, subscribe to my channel. I'll let you know when this thing comes out. Should be any time now, within a month or so. And uh, finally, you can set your gains up properly without having to buy an O-scope. How about that?